Taco's here to join us, and here's noodles. Hi everyone! Okay, so today we're gonna do my favorite lippies. If I were to get rid of my entire makeup collection, all of my lippies, and just keep these few, I would still be very, very happy. And I, I need to declutter, so I should probably actually get down with that. So disclaimer, my personal preference is for like a rosy, slightly deeper than your usual lip color, but not by much. Tone. I also have dry lips and I'm pretty lazy so I want something that's like easy to reapply or doesn't need me to reapply it often and that also keeps my lips moisturized so let's head into it the lippy that I used in one of my most recent get ready with me's this is from Romand and this is their glassing melting balm I am a sucker for tinted lip balms I like a sheer finish something glowy but not tacky so like I don't want to feel that like stickiness on my lips. So this is a really really great alternative. Um, this is in Kaya Fig and it is a beautiful nice muted rose color with a hint of brown. It just gives you that perfect like neutral brown nudie rose color. It's just so good! I love it! The consistency I will say is a little bit softer. I don't think you'd have an issue if you were living in a colder climate but for places that are hot and humid like Singapore, it, oh my god, like you don't put it in your pocket, don't put it near like in between your cleaves when you go clubbing you know like it's just gonna melt. It's definitely considered a softer formula but I really really like it because it's really easy to apply it's very moisturizing and they just add a sense of color to your lips without making it look too bright or too overwhelming and it goes well with literally every makeup look it's something that I don't really have to think about so this is definitely one of my brand new favorites and I just picked it up like maybe a couple of months ago but I cannot stop using it love it love it love it you should go give it a shot. <laughs> uh, let me just go through two of the other Roman um, lippies that I really like. Um, I love the Juicy Lasting Tints. I do have to say the um, other water tint, Glasting Water Tint. Let me just take it out. Uh, yeah. This is the Glasting Water Tint. This one is in Rose Stream. I also love it and it does leave a nice tint afterwards. So I, I would I would happily include this in my little list. Yeah, I wouldn't want to miss it. I feel like this is just a really beautiful and elegant like alternative to like a bright red. If you want something like a little bit more understated. I absolutely love how you can kind of build it up as well. Over here, I've done a very light swatch of rose stream and then a heavier swatch of rose stream. Okay, so the glassing water tints are great but also don't sleep on the juicy lasting tints. Um, these are very very affordable and they come in a huge huge variety of different colours, um, different undertones, different hues and a lot of them are like quite similar but I do have two of my favourites that I think everyone should try. Like I do have quite, I think I have like 20. This one right here is a in shade 23 it's called Nucademia and I know that it went viral at one point like it was really really difficult to find it but now you can find it very very easily I think on Shopee and this is how it swatches it's the perfect MLBB look like the perfect my lips but better look if you can see I tried to sheer it out a little bit more but it doesn't quite sheer itself out the same way that the glassing water tint does absolutely love this color it is very very flattering and the other color that I really love I would actually say maybe this is one of my favorite colors of all the juicy lip tints this is in the color dark coconut oh. man they look so similar <laughs> But they're not, I assure you, I assure you. Come closer. Come, 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 come. This is Rose Stream, this is Nucademia, and this is Dark Coconut. Dark Coconut is such a unique colour. A dark, malt, muted, peachy brown. Look at it, it is just so gorgeous, so, so, so beautiful. It's just like a little bit darker without it being so heavy. I know this doesn't seem like it will be that like versatile a colour, but it goes well with everything. It, it will go well with this look right now. I should have worn it, honestly. I would say it's quite a nice neutral. Like it's cool, but it's not super super cool. You don't really have that grey look on your face. But at the same time, it's not super bright and super saturated. And I find that whenever I wear it, I just feel very beautiful, very chic, and very cool. 
Yeah, so I absolutely love dark coconut. Like, I'm gonna be absolutely... Oh, I'm gonna be absolutely gutted if they ever discontinue this. They do tend to be a little bit drying sometimes. Um, I find that after a while, especially if you've reapplied a couple of times, the skin on my lips at least do tend to pucker a little bit and be a little bit dry. It doesn't hurt, it just flakes and it just doesn't look that great. But I just used lip balm before and then I just like deal with it lah because it's really beautiful and it's really affordable and it doesn't stop me from using them. So that's just something to know. All right, okay, speaking of dark malt colors, I want to give black honey a shout out. It's just kind of like a, a formula that you can't go wrong. Let me swatch it. I would say the black honey has a little bit more plum and you can also share it out. So it's hyped up for a reason. It's been around for like 40 years. It's just kind of like classic. And if you want to look for alternatives, I found this on Shopee. This was one of the most like popular dupes that um, was covered by I think Matilda on video. I didn't even tell you what it was. Oh my god, this is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick in Black Cherry. So I think they definitely knew what they were doing lah. They knew that they wanted to do, emulate the kind of black honey shade. So this is black honey, this is black cherry. But definitely e.l.f.'s black cherry is more towards like a deeper, darker brown and it tends to be a little bit more saturated. On days where I want like a stronger lip colour but I still want to keep my lips light and hydrated and moisturised, I almost always reach for this e.l.f. Sheer Slick lipstick. e.l.f. really has some gems, man, and they've been around for a really long time. Speaking of loves for a really long time, I don't know if anyone can remember, but this was the exact duo that I used for my first ever video seven years ago. And I still recommend it! I still use and love this lip combo all the time. Um, if I'm going out for a full day or if I'm gonna be kissing my partner and I don't want to deal with touch-ups but I want a really nice beautiful red lip that I know works for me, this is what I go for. The freaking Benetint from Benefit. I. Oh my god, how many bottles have I gone through? I, I don't know. I think my first ever Benetint was when I was 17 and I've just like kept on repurchasing it. There is no other tint quite like it. It's rose scented. It is the exact consistency of rose water. It gives a beautiful tint. It is light. It feels like absolutely nothing. And the stain actually stays for the better part of the day for me. I tend to just go over my lips like maybe once or twice and then dab a little bit more right in the centre of my lips to make it a little bit more saturated, kind of like that Korean fruit bitten lips kind of look. Um, yeah, and it and it works perfectly, and I really love it. So this is a strong staple for me, and because it's so light and it literally feels exactly like water, I do need something kind of balmy to just go over my lips and make sure that it still feels very moisturised because I'm just a sensitive gal. So I have been using this Burt's Bees Red Dahlia for probably longer than 10 years. To me, Red Dahlia is the best shade. I've often wondered like what the difference is between Rose and Red Dahlia. Red Dahlia, it has that same kind of black honey look where it's just like a little bit deeper, a little bit of brown and plum and it has this like really wonderful kind of like mixed paint look. You know what I mean? Okay, like red, purple, brown, like you can have these individual lipsticks, right? But to have them all in one, like kind of mixed together in this like really beautiful, can't quite put your finger on it shade. That's my gem. That's why my entire hair looks like this. Definitely out of all of these, the Red Dahlia is the sheerest. But that's why I like pairing it with the Benetint because the Benetint adds the colour and then the Red Dahlia just dulls it out and makes your lips almost a little bit more dimensional and it keeps it very moisturised. Okay, let's get back to the K-Beauty train. Funny enough, this is from Peripera. Um, it is the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. I think it's one of Peripera's best-selling products. Um, but incidentally, I actually found found out about this in Japan, like when I was in the drugstores like shopping when I was on my trip. I managed to get a swatch of this and my mind was blown. My mind was blown. Initially, I thought it would be quite similar to Nougadamia, but it's a lighter, like a petal poppin, like you know that Fenty blush, like petal poppin, kind of like pinky peach shade. 
And funny enough, I don't, can you see? Can you tell? I don't tend to gravitate to like a light and bright shade, but this colour for some reason, first of all, it feels fantastic on the lips. And then it does such a good job of also making your lips look a little bit brighter and lighter and still really glowy and beautiful without it looking too too much. The other thing that I like about this is also that it stays on the lips pretty well um, without it being tacky or anything. Like the colour stays on really well too. Definitely looking to get more. If you have any recommendations for what colours I should try, let me know. I think there's a couple of new colours coming up. Ooh. Speaking of tints, I don't know if this is still available for sale. This is from APU. It's their Waterlight Tint. And I must have shown you guys this like at least a few times in my makeup videos. I feel like I was obsessed with this like two years ago. Um, I kind of stopped wearing it because I have so many new favourites, but I still absolutely love it. So this is an RD03. And this actually is one of the first lip colours that I wore very regularly that actually is on the cooler side. I would say for the past like five years, everyone was really on that whole warm orange peach kind of line, right? I definitely was like, oh yeah, like I have a warm skin tone, right? Like I'm Asian, like it's yellow undertone, so let me do all of those like warm stuff. But Actually, it does go a little bit plum and it does go a little bit more cool than I intended. It was, first of all, very comfortable to wear, last a really long time, super easy to reapply, did not dry out my lips at all. It made my teeth very white, it made me look very... like, just very striking and very elegant and I just love wearing it. I actually also really like the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink. And this is another shade that is quite nice and cool tone. When I put it next to the APU one, then this one kind of looks like super cool tone and this one looks kind of like warm, right? But I would argue that this is more neutral and this is definitely on the cool tone. I don't know, before this, I never gravitated towards like a purple pink lip because it just sounds so like foreign to me, right? But this contrasts really well with like a warm eye look. I did like a cool tone smoky eye before with this lip and it was fire! It was so good! You can also share it out super super easily but you can also keep it very saturated. I absolutely love the formulation. Industry definitely knew what they were doing and I have the entire line and I use all of the colours quite regularly. So yeah, big fan of this Vivid Cotton Ink line. Two more to go. This one is from Excel. Excel has a really nice range of like glossy tinted lip balms also. I don't know if they call it tinted lip balms, but they look like this. I don't actually know what the name is. This shade is also... Oh my god, it's actually... Whoa! Oh, it's very... Oh, look! So I don't know if you can see, but this right here, right on top, is the Excel shade. Very, very similar to Black Honey and the e.l.f. Black Cherry, but I would say this is a little bit more muted and a little bit more cool toned. And I don't know if you can notice, but it definitely gives a little bit more shine, it's a little bit more satiny, and um, it's still quite saturated for a tinted lip balm. Excel is just a really fantastic brand with very affordable like Japanese makeup, so if you've never tried Excel before, I highly recommend them. I never in my life would ever think that I would include a gloss for one of my favorite lippies ever. But I do want to give a shout out to the Gloss Bomb Heat by Fenty in the shade Fenty Glow. I don't want to use a gloss because like I said, I'm lazy and I don't like it when it smears in my face and all of that, but I do love a beautiful glossy lip. And there's just something about the Gloss Bomb Heat that I really, really like. I love all of their shades. I have all of them. And my most used is definitely the Fenty Glow because it's just such a beautiful universal colour. I know I'm so boring. <laughs> I even have a mini and a little keychain and I put it on my bag because anytime you want to add a little bit of dimension to literally any lip that you're using or if you don't have anything on your lips and you just want that like extra pizzazz, this is perfect! Or if you're on a date and you don't want to kiss someone, it's really such a nice gloss, literally just like masks all of your lines and you just have a really like juicy and like beautiful succulent 
pout and it doesn't hurt you know a lot of like these lip plumping things they tend to sting your lips a lot right i actually really enjoy the light tingling that this does for me it's just like a little bit of like a minty kind of vibe and I don't know how well it actually does in plumping my lips but it definitely gives the illusion of like juicier and more like three-dimensional lips so that's why I really like it because it's just such a great topper very very versatile if I had to wear a gloss I'd wear this one all right so that's it that's my holy grail my ride or die my absolute favorite wear them all the time lippies if you guys want to see like anything else like foundations blushes all of that let me know I just, I, I'm very happy. I'm just sitting here like talking about my favorite makeup and it's really fun. So if you have any other recommendations that you think I would love based on what I've shown you, please also list them down below. I would love to try them out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. What are we doing next week? Next week, I'm reviewing this hairdryer that I got recently that I freaking love, that is revolutionary, that I use over my Dyson, sorry. And it's a fraction of the price. So stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled, and until then, I will see you guys next week. Bye!